we are of the position that we cannot support the approval of the disposition of the Commerce by Port. I must say, though, that it seems to us that this matter might very well find itself in the courts. And I, I ask now, and I, I hope to get a response as to how solid a case the government has. Um, both sides seem to think that they have a solid case. In our minds, right, Madam President and colleagues, while the lease cannot be transferred or assigned, the ownership of the company, the shares, can be sold in their entirety. And it begs the question about the possibility of speculation happening where for very little investment, a very hefty profit can be made by selling the assets of that company up to in their entirety. So the, the, these raise a lot of red flags in our mind, in, uh, in our minds and makes it difficult for us to support the disposition. Um, but we also recognize the importance of that port and the benefit that it can bring for the Dangriga and surrounding communities. So we also would like to ask what is, what the government plans as far as the future of that port? What, what, what serious steps does government intend to take to reactivate that facility that has so much importance for the economic growth of that area. We believe that it is very important, it's critical that there is resolution to this matter. Now, it seems to be that we are at a place where this will end up being a, not a win-win, but a lose-lose situation for the very fact that we have the people in the area who have lost jobs who won't have their, their jobs anymore, but as I said just now, the matter of litigation as well. And so from our end then, we are hoping that maybe the parties can come to the table and maybe can have some kind of discussion, negotiations on this matter to try to resolve this matter as best as they can so that we don't end up in the courts. If it was required to be brought to the National Assembly, um, it could not have been the investors responsibility to bring it to the National Assembly. That would have had to be the, be the administration's responsibility. And so, in my view, if the contract is cancelled, it doesn't, um, I believe that there will be significant litigation risk, and it's quite likely, extremely likely, that the company will sue. While there might be some wangling about the lease agreement, I must confess, as Sister Elena pointed out, that jobs are at stake. And at this time, especially in Dangriga, in the Stan Creek district, jobs become extremely, extremely important.